Okay, we're playing some of this five minute stuff. It's a little bit too quick for me, but um, we'll see how we can get on. We've played some warm up matches and we've taken a bit of a hit. But that's because I think we've played too quickly and we need to just take our time and focus because it's like five minutes. It doesn't need to be played that quickly. I was playing it like it was a bullet match, both games. Okay, so just need to just tone it down a bit. Uh, let's put the check here and then bring the bishop back. Get the long play psychology thinking going on. Let's castle. because they're moving fast doesn't mean I have to move fast I'm looking to get good position on the board let's push you away got four minutes that's plenty of time plenty of time just get the pieces out and let's go here it's castle okay yeah, so it's moving fast but don't mean it's moving right let's move the knight here I'm ready to go in for the kill now. Let's just get this rook here. Nice touch, nice touch, but that's all pretty simple, straightforward stuff. Now let's just power through. Just take our time now, focus. Try and get better position. First one, I hung my rook see the mistake second one bad position towards the end scary times one two let's get rid of this um could take here opens up night is night is still there let's push through three minutes that's not too bad Oh, he's gone for the capture. He's gone for the capture, but that is not a good thing. Let's go here. Do have a touch on there, but it's not a checkmate type thing. It's just a bit of a disturbance at the minute. Ooh, looky, looky, attacking already. But uh, let's take this off the bar with a check on the king. Checks first, usually. Queen has to take and let's attack the Queen. That makes sense. See, I feel a lot calmer now, just taking my time. We've got plenty of time now. Well, two minutes, not three minutes ish. Queens move in. Let's just nice and steady away. Let's just bring this up. to get a doubling thing going on get this knight moved Ooh, what's going on with the queen and let's take here got the knight ready to come here oh he's taken the knight I wanted the knight to do some stuff oh, but we can replicate maybe the crucial square but it's, it looks like he knows all this stuff is blocking it off now he's going kind of slow okay he's moved but he's still we can still <sighs> but if we do that then we lose the pawn let's go here Two minutes 21 okay just try and get some nice position it's a lot calmer you see I prefer to lose potentially maybe on time if I've got a half decent position and I'm kind of winning that's not going to help them I don't think because there's no checkmate type thing going on here no nope, it's white square bishop 
let's just take that I'm gonna have to move a bit speedy now okay so I'm gonna stop talking Designed. Oh, okay, right, that was better. Now we've had the warm up matches of getting our butt kicked. Okay, let's go in for some more. Okay, we're off again. Five minutes, zero increment type situation. Let's go here. Uh, ooh, I don't really like that, so we'll go here. And let's see what else they... Oh, it's gone for a bit of a term situation. And doo -doo -doo -doo, I don't know, let's see. Okay, they're moving quick but blocking themselves in, I think. So this pawn is unprotected. Got to be mindful, a bit the queen comes here. It's Getting a two on one on this pawn. Fair enough. Yep, as we said. Okay, just blast through here. What's the bishop doing? Pawn can defend, let's get king safety. this bishop let's take they're all a bit aggressive out there in this um, let's go here five minutes oh I'm not too sure about that fella let's go here Gone into a deep vein for some a reason. Um, can I not just go here? Okay, fair enough.
Oh, sure. Okay, that was pretty smooth. Um, obviously, I went quiet because I'm not, I'm not a fast player type thing, you know. And um, trying to get some nice positions there. That felt really quite comfortable. A little bit tense, but they are aggressive. They feel really aggressive, you know, in these faster games. But it just makes you think that they're actually finding the better moves. So this is why I'm trying to calm my brain down. Especially based on the first game that I played. You know, losing the damn rook like that. That's just embarrassing. And the second game, um, just bad position altogether. And but the last two games I've seemed to come into my own a little bit. So that's quite nice. I'm going to have to play a few more. Um, yeah, okay, let's crack on. Steady. Okay. Don't get put off because they're moving fast. means nothing, we've got plenty of time. Just have to say, they're not finding the best moves when they're moving that fast, simple as. Again, not saying anything because this is a short game. I want to focus. Oh, he's just giving me a. just have to believe that with the moving fast they definitely can't be getting the best position come on let's just keep plodding away
Okay, I'm not sure about this now. Really, don't it? Because it's a check on the king. King can't move here, can't move there. So, you hope they would resign now. You would hope. But maybe they're going for the flexibility of the pieces. Deep think. Maybe try and flag me. I'm on 1 minute 52. This could come here with the knight protecting the pawn, couldn't it? But then we just take the pawn off the board with a check. Or is there a... No, there isn't. Can't go there, it's just gonna come down. Well, it looks like they've left the game. What's happened to that resign button? It, does it not work? Come on. Anyway, at least it's only a few seconds to wait. So we'll claim victory on that. Okay, so that was a fairly smooth game. Again, they pow power driving out the moves really fast and it makes you think that they are finding the better positions it's really off-putting i've mentioned in previous um, things with them um, you know position versus speed type thing and yeah you know, i have to get warmed up to these fast games because obviously i mean <laughs> dear me okay so that was a, a nice game again more positional looking positional taking time trying to get better position on the board and it is really scary when they're just bang 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 in the moves out but me i have to move a little bit slower okay let's, let's go with that another speedy just take time oh four nights not seen that for a while Not seen that for. I'm gonna go basic then. Oh, he's playing simple chess. Oh, this is really good. Oh, he's, yeah, he's playing nice, simple, basic chess. This is like over the board chess. Oh, I'm interested. Let's grab here, double them up. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Simple chess. This is kind of what kind of game I played when I first started playing chess <laughs> against the computer. <laughs> oh, it's making me laugh. Okay, so grab here. Oh, it's so cute. Nice, simple. It's like baby chess. <laughs> oh, dear. It might change now, though, so I don't want to get too giddy, but that first part was like, oh, it's like going back home. Obviously he's defending the pawn, don't want to block his rook, so the bishop probably is coming here. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not, okay. Oh, making it look really baby. Oh, 
He's putting a 2 on one on the palm. Okay, I'm gonna have to support. And his bishop's blocking our castling rights now. Okay, so that's a bit of a shame, but we can bring our bishop. Maybe attack his knight. Double the pawns up. I think he'll move the knight though. Let's go. Yeah. Simple chess. Let's castle on the queen side. Baby chess. When I was playing the Kasparov machine in the early days, the level, whatever it is, AA or something like that, it kind of just doesn't work its pieces together and then hangs a few pieces left, right, and center. That's what the start of this felt like. And with the pieces, where they've got the pieces at the minute, can't go here, can't go there, can't go there. Makes sense to come here, or maybe we could come here. No, I'm blocking my rook. No, I could do a little bit of an x-ray, couldn't I? Oh, but then my bishop doesn't have any support, so he could, yeah, do some fancy business. Let's do that business. Right, this is not a long play game. I've got my long play head on now because I'm playing baby chess. Boom, boom, boom. Let's go here. Looks like he's starting to target stuff, but it's not at the. Oh, I was going to say it's not at the right position, but this knight can take no threat. Let's take the bishop. Knights hunt the bishops in our mantra. And he takes with the pawn. That might be a bit of a. It all seems very simple at the minute. Now he's um, losing his pawn, it looks like to me. This is... We're on his bishop as well. It's very simple chess, this at the minute. I'm really quite happy. This is really nice to see. Oh, focus though, I'm on two minutes. Struggling rooks, then the earth. Yeah, like I said, the pieces weren't working together, but if he starts pulling them together, we might have a problem. Okay, so he's blocked his rook. What's his rook? He's attacking this pawn, actually, you know. He's attacking the pawn. Let's push this up. Oh, he's got a bit of quickness going. Oh, he's attacking that unprotected knight. Oh, and behind that he's got like a two-on-one thing. Oosh, uh, no, none of that, none of that, none of that. Okay, so it's gone past them um, baby, baby chest now. It looks like they're trying to get, get a bit of cleverness. Yeah, so how do you spot that? Damn. Well, now his knight's doing some magical stuff. Let's go here. Gotta move faster now. speed yeah it's just moving fast now it's gone Ooh, what's all this about
Oh, could have taken the rook <laughs> motor set. Oh, he's stupid. <laughs> oh, dear with me. Oh, that is terrible. That is absolutely terrible. I didn't think he'd bring his rook there. Oh, my life. <laughs> oh, the tricks of playing fast. Trying to flag me. Designed. Hey. Okay, so we're caught up with them on the speed aspect and all that sort of stuff. So I've clawed back what I've needed to claw back. Um, I think that was a nice blitz session, um, apart from the early ones. Obviously, I do need to warm up, and I have mentioned that before when I'm playing the shorter games, especially. I need to have at least three or four warm up matches before I actually go in there. I totally forgot about that and i just went in there thinking oh i'll just play and yeah i hung my rock at the <laughs> it's so shocking but i think we've redeemed ourselves we've, we've clawed um clawed back some of these little rating point type things and we're probably higher than we were before so that was a good exercise like i said we're not really fans of blitz or bullet type things just playing a, another blitz match See how we get on here. Let's just attack the bishop. Missed the golden opportunity there, and that's why he's jumped and blocked with his knight. Don't think we'll get it again, though. His rook's going there this time. Oh, he's not. Ooh, have to be careful because. This pawn's going to get taken, isn't it, by the rook? So if we go here, see the, um, then the bishop takes, then the rook comes here. I suppose we can come here and attack his rook, but then his rook still attacks the bishop, so we lose the pawn, don't we? But we're, yeah, and then he's down, he's advanced down the board. What do we do in this situation? I feel like doing it anyway. But we're going to 
we're not going to be down upon it's just that his rook is going to be advanced down here so we need to be very ready for it oh we've not done that yet oh I think he's prepared it hasn't he I think he's prepared it because the knight is there uh, defending. Oh, for shine on Harvey Moon. I can't believe I've fallen for that. Oh, let's go here. Oh, that's rubbish. Let's go here. Oops, oh dear, I've trapped my bishop. Ay, 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 ay. Now we can just put a two on one on the pawn and it's all over. It's not doing that. This is a bit odd, isn't it? Um, this is like a slow death type thing. It's a creeping death, this. I think they had this, oh look, he's got it all sewn up, man. I can't even take here. No, 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 no. This cannot be happening. I can't move for anywhere, can I? I knew he'd sacrifice.
Oh my gosh, how did we come back from that? That was shocking. That was shocking. Unbelievable. Wow. Okay. <laughs> was interesting. Oh, we, it was. I think that was a completely lost game, really. That was a completely lost game. I am going to look at this. Is my last, last blitz one for today. We're, we're not blitzy people, but wow, dear me, that was completely lost. I, I messed up, didn't I? Hold on, messed up somewhere. Now they're getting big advantage. Yeah, night comes down, tapping the night, taking the. Push. Yeah, this decision to capture this pawn, I should have just left it alone. It's actually saying bishop take. But even then it's still, it's no good to me. Why is it saying bishop take f3? Oh, f3. Sorry, this one. Right, taking the knight, yeah. Yeah. We knew that this was going to cause a problem. This is the type of thing I do in like the over the board as well, in a sense of kind of doing the calculation going oh yeah we know it potentially could happen but what if they don't do it and one of the key games uh, there was one key game where i'd moved the queen to attack the rook when and i and basically put a check on the king thinking that the king was going to move inward rather than go and defend itself and they went and defended themselves so then we didn't win the rook in the plan that we fought so it was a waste of a move and it was a bad position and we didn't it didn't give us an advantage i have got to stop doing that i have got to stop going oh yeah i've got this here and the if but but yeah we know it's going to come down because it ends up worse for us so in this situation yeah we should have probably just either taken the knight off the board or mobilized some pawns up or readjusted the rooks or something like that that would have been a lot better so that was a key thing for this particular game really was that decision to take that pawn there it was basically it's like i know it's wrong but so when i get that i know it's wrong but i just need to go no it's wrong dude it's as simple as that it's wrong there's no buts about it it's wrong wow these games are really testing me okay so we grabbed and yeah at first i thought he was going to bring the rook here but then he's brought his knight here and i thought well maybe he's seen the picture because thinking our bishop was going to come here so the knight is actually defending so this is why he's done that so he was still going to get the pawn anyway so we brought the bishop back look at that they're out and out winning here and we know this the position is not good at all and didn't see this that's what i didn't see you know the knight sitting there all hunky dory i'm thinking about protecting my bishop and he's got this beautiful spot here so you gotta watch definitely watch those blind spots right from the very beginning all i'm focused on is this particular area and then i'm thinking oh well how can i protect this pawn how can i protect my bishop not looking at what the opponent can actually do to me and when you actually see it done to you oh look at that that's awful so we went and attacked his rook and then grab so we're down the exchange but positionally on the board it doesn't look too bad for us gauge bar showing you ain't got a cat in hell's chance here um but we'll play if we're playing a human they are going to make mistakes however but realistically i don't know how we got if i've got two rooks against the bishop and the rook i'm really going to <coughs> go for it i'm gonna really go for it hell for leather showing the power of the rooks so they bring the rook into the center of the board and um, in our mantra rooks don't really have a place in the center of the board unless it's to, unless of course it's to your benefit so i'm in my head i think that was kind of the death knell for them in terms of having the rook in the center of the board and it's not really to their benefit because now we can close down we had a panic on because they could push the pawn down but then we brought the bishop up and again rooks don't have any place in the center of the board this was 
this was their issue and their problem and this is I think what brought us back into the game not us doing anything special at all but it's just really trying to mobilize our pieces as best possible trying to get the king into the game look at that gauge bar we don't stand a chance in this game so bringing the bishop down making it look like we're doing something active blocking off the rook and the capture and repositioning hopefully to try and own the file with the rook again the rook don't have any place in the center of the board i'm happy i'm happy that's fine for me so we can grab a pawn at least and then bring the bishop back and get the king a little bit more elevated up the opponent could see what i was attempting to do get the king here and then push this pawn onto this pawn and and if we could get rid of the pawn obviously it's going to replicate anyway but we're making space on this flat side of the board so now they start pushing down so everything gets locked down again i don't think that with they've got two rooks so they the rooks want open files so in essence really they should be looking to try and open spaces up do you know what i mean i mean capturing capturing and then this rook can start looking to work around this side here that's too much pressure for me you know i would have folded like a cheap folded piece of paper something like that anyway um so they push down so everything's locked down on this side not in the favor of the rooks so again that's feeling quite good for us so now we can just mobilize i'm thinking they're gonna go for a draw then maybe so i can just move a bishop up and down but he's still looking to try and get his rook in again if he'd had done the pawn break and smashed over my pawns here this rook would have been able to play on this side he'd have been able to bring this rook back as well and start putting some sort of pressure towards that area but they allowed us to actually take this pawn here so now it's a draw and the sacrifice i was thinking to myself he's going to sacrifice the rook he's, he's, <laughs> he's going to do something crazy like that but that's just going to allow us to link up these pawns and then really it's kind of plain sailing at that point so realistically the opponent either could have got a massive win by smashing our pawns up here not putting his rook into the center of the board and um, that game was totally over and that's it really yeah don't put your kings in the center of the board unless of course it's to your benefit um smash open the areas to use the power of the rooks so that they've got um files that they can work with and then obviously understanding the power of the pawns going up towards the end game and just capturing pieces as you need to with a powerful king so that was a very interesting another educational game for myself and it's blitz but i'm not into blitz i'm not into bullet it's very rare that i'm playing these games um, i'm surprised i'm playing them today but just thought i'll jump in because i've been playing these long games and uh, the long games have been really good really educational as well and just keeping my hand in because we were on the track of trying to improve our blitz and bullet um, but less so now because we're focusing on the over the board games but i don't want to lose sight of the skills that we might need for bullet or the blitz type thing so yeah good game